What's up, guys? It's me, it's me, it's AJ, also known as Zyalanik, manager of Sexy in the City on Soy 6 in Padia, Thailand, and Padia resident for coming on three years with 17 trips under my belt. This week's edition of Tips, Advice, Newbie Tricks is going to go ahead and answer something a couple guys have sent me messages on. Motorbikes or motorcycle taxis, whatever you want to call them, are they safe? Well, let me go ahead and break it down for you. So, if you have never, ever rode a motorbike in your life, if you've never driven one, if you have no experience whatsoever, and you decide that Padia, Thailand would be the absolute best place on the planet for the first time in your life to try driving a motorbike, especially shit-faced drunk after about 20 drinks, you're wrong. I have seen, in all seriousness, some very deadly and some very awful accidents here because guys have no experience and don't know what they're doing and decide to drive a motorbike, especially drunk here. If you have no experience, don't drive. Number two, are you an experienced motorbike driver? Do you know what you're doing? Have you driven in Asia before? Are you used to offensive driving and not defensive driving? Are you aware and able to study your surroundings? Do you not drink when you drive? Then you might do okay. Then I would suggest you go ahead and do it. But keep in mind, wear a helmet, if not, you're going to get stopped, and it's much more of a pain in the ass now than it used to be. Number two, have a driver's license, not just a Thai driver's license, but an international driver's license that specifically says you can drive a motorbike. If it's just a driver's license, it ain't going to work, buddy. Finally, and most importantly, motorbike taxis. So for those of you who don't drive, and that's probably the vast majority of you, let's be fair, you might say, hey, should I get on the back of a motorbike driver? Uh, well, not on the back of a motorbike driver, because if he tries to carry you around Padia, that would be uncomfortable. Should I get on the back of a motorbike taxi? My answer would be yes. Here's why. Motorbike taxis in Padia, you never hear about in the news an awful accident. You never hear about pedestrians and the motorbike driver killed or injured. These guys do this for a living every single day. This is their life's blood. They're used to their traffic. They're used to the city. They know each other, and they know what's going on. Now, I do have a couple tips, though. Number one, always uh, try to pick the older guy. There's a reason he's older. Number two, when you get on a motorbike, specifically ask him, cha-cha, or slow, slow, means the same thing. That way, he's not breezing in and out, and he doesn't scare you. Keep in mind, if he is scaring you, you can get off anywhere. Just say, jotini cup, or jotinan cup, means stop. You can also just say, stop. That works, too. Finally, some people say, should you get the price before you get on or when you get off? My advice is it's up to you. Um, most motorbike taxi rides around the city will cost you between 50 to 80 baht, depending on where you're going. There is an official scale, but when you read 30 baht all the way around Padia, you're not going to get it as a guy on holiday. I usually pay when I get off and I give the guy usually about 60 to 80 baht, depending on how far it was. Exceptionally long rides, like all the way from Naplua to Jomtian, you'll pay 100 baht plus from there. Anyways, hopefully that helps you guys out. I'll see you all next week. Have a great one, guys.